Greece is infused with ancient mythology, and if you like archaeology, history, art, and philosophy, a trip to this fascinating country is worth taking. Greece comprises a series of idyllic islands surrounded by jet blue seas and covered in dainty white buildings. You will also find crumbling ruins, engaging museums, and pretty coastal towns aplenty. From throbbing cities like Athens to a slower pace of life in little villages by the sea, Greece is a mosaic of different experiences and landscapes and one of the world's largest open-air museums. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Greece so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. With number 10, Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is one of the most famous mountains in the world, and if you are a fan of Greek mythology, then this is not to be missed off your itinerary. To climb the mountain, you must travel to Litokoro, where you can trek part or to the top, depending on your ability and fitness levels. Mount Olympus is known in Greek mythology as the spot where Zeus sat on his throne and the place where Hades ruled the underworld, so as you climb, you can imagine the legends that are interconnected with this mountain. At number 9 is the Lake Plastira. Lake Plastira is something unusual in Greece, known for being blessed with a plethora of natural beauty. This lake is different because it is manufactured, although this doesn't make it any less impressive. The lake is surrounded by oak and chestnut trees, and you can go canoeing or rafting here, horse riding or hiking along the trails around the lake. Lake Plastira is located in the Larditsa region of Greece and offers an adventure-filled afternoon. At number 8, Santorini. Santorini is also known as the Island of Thera and is the haven of honeymooners looking to escape it all in one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Santorini is known for its picture postcard good looks, which are covered in traditional cycladic homes that gleam white under the hot Greek sun and contrast beautifully with the deep blue seas and churches. Walking around the island lets you take in all the spectacular architecture here because a volcanic crater forms the landscape. At number 7, Acropolis. Dominating the skyline of the capital city of Greece, Athens is the Acropolis. If you are in Greece, this is probably the number one attraction to take advantage of and the complex, made from glittering marble, used to be the site of the famous statue of Athena, who was also the goddess of Athens. Anyone interested in ancient architecture can marvel at the Doric columns and the spectacular temples. The Acropolis is lined with pathways that let you walk around at your leisure and enjoy the highlight of this monument, the stunning Parthenon. At number 6 in our list, Below's Beach. The legendary Below's Beach is located on the scenic Grimvusa Peninsula on the island of Crete, making it one of the best places to relax and enjoy the surf in Greece. The beach is made up of delightful lagoons that open up onto azure waters, and it is so clear here that you can see a plethora of underwater life in the form of fish and shellfish. You can rent sunbeds and parasols, this is one of the prettiest spots on Crete to spend sunbathing or swimming. At 
At number 5, Hephaestus Temple. Located in the charming Thysio neighborhood of Athens is the Hephaestus Temple. As with all temples in Greece, this one is dedicated to the gods, in this case, Hephaestus, the god of fire, and Athena, the goddess of pottery and ancient crafts. The temple dates from 450 BC and sits atop Agario Coronos Hill. Designed by the same architect who worked on the Pantheon, Hephaestus Temple is known for its pretty columns and pentelic and Parian marble decorations. You will also find friezes and sculptures dotting the building. At number 4, Corinth Canal. One of Greece's most impressive engineering feats is the Corinth Canal. It took centuries to build and was started by Nero, the ancient Roman emperor before finally being finished under the French as late as the 19th century. The canal is sliced into a rock section and spans 6 kilometers with sides that soar up to 90 meters. One of the other main attractions on the canal is the Zulu bungee jump which is certainly not for those who don't have a head for heights but is also a fantastic way to take in all the majesty of the canal. At number 3 in our list, Suru Beach. Suru Beach in Mykonos is one of the most famous in Greece and is known for its signature blue sun loungers. There is always an intense party atmosphere here, and the beach is covered with bars and restaurants, so you can order food and drinks and dance the night away. However, this is not one of the cheapest places to visit in Greece, and you will get a sense of the kind of clientele from the fantastic super yachts that sit just offshore. At number 2, Epidaurus Theatre. In Epidaurus and Argolis is the Epidaurus Theatre, a ceremonial space dedicated to the famous god of medicine, Asclepius. The Sanctuary of Asclepius is located next to the theatre, you can visit both simultaneously. Constructed in the late 4th century BC, it is considered to be a perfect ancient Greek theater about acoustics and aesthetics. The theater dates from the 4th century, and you can sit in the stone tiers and imagine watching a performance here in the years of old. The number one places in our list, Monasteries of Meteora. Meteora is known for its monasteries on top of towering rock formations. The monks that live in the area are Eastern Orthodox and fled to Meteora as a result of the invasion of the Turkish army. There are six monasteries in Meteora, although at one point, there would have been over 20, and as a result, this is one of the most spectacular religious sites in Greece. Meteora is crowded with ancient boulders and monolithic pillars. This is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as the rock formations offer one of Europe's most haunting and beautiful landscapes. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Greece. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.